the marathon, parades, Steeler games. We, we sweep every car that goes into the Steelers games. Police canines are able to do what even the most capable police officer cannot do. Their noses can detect explosives, guns, drugs, and people. They go into harm's way to keep us safe. But did you know our state government does not give police departments any money for them? Julie edi legal editor Julie Grant explores whether the law should be changed. Watch him. <laughs> canine Garrix is one of the canines who helps keep the people of Pittsburgh safe. If we're searching a, a, like a house, it's like it's a burglary in progress. I'll know within 30 seconds if there's somebody in that house just because of the way his body language, how he's smelling the air. He knows they're in there and he's just going to follow that odor to where they're at. Every canine has a specialty, either detecting bombs or detecting drugs. The dog's job is to go into harm's way for us. Pittsburgh Police K-9. They're also trained to patrol, track, and apprehend. Vicious? No. They do what they're trained to do. Sergeant Sean Duffy supervises the city's 20 K-9 teams. I think they're very crucial, especially the bomb dogs. When they're not working, they're like any other dog. Oh, that's my buddy. K-9 Garrix, K-9 Junior, and Allegheny County K-9 Woody prove to us how accurate they are. This is uh, two pounds of bulk C4. We're going to put it in locker number nine. It's working, smelling. In seconds, K-9 Junior finds it. It's uh, three grams of marijuana. It's hidden behind slot number 110. In seconds, K-9 Garrix finds it, and there's his reward. Good job, buddy. Good job. K-9 Woody's job involves sweeping the county buildings, making sure people are safe from any bombs or explosives. He walks the hallways, the stairs, and the outside of the buildings. Watch how spot on he is when he's tested at the second trash can. To try to keep us safe in this day and age, in this age of terrorism. Uh, they're an invaluable asset. As invaluable as canines may prove to be, many departments financially struggle to have them. The Allegheny County District Attorney's Office helps purchase and support canines with money seized from crimes. I think it brings the officers closer to the community that they serve. None of these dogs are trained to go out and hurt somebody. They're a deterrent. Pittsburgh police canines are supported by city money and federal money for some of the bomb dogs. Yet they still need to have fundraisers because canine expenses are very costly. Donations are collected in memory of canine Rocco, who saved three officers' lives when he was stabbed. Not having a canine puts other officers at risk, puts, puts the public at risk too. But in smaller boroughs like Elizabeth, funding is much harder to come by. Sergeant Garrett Kimmel and his canine Riker are forced to rely 100% on the generosity of the community. Our borough can't fund the canine unit, so when it stops being self-funded, it's probably going to go away. Since there is no money coming from the state, the department must resort to fundraising. It would, it would make life easier as far as fundraising goes, and there wouldn't be such a need for the fundraising if it was matched by the state. At the same time, canine Riker continues proving his worth. His alerts helped dismantle what the U.S. attorney says was one of the largest cocaine distribution rings our region has ever seen. I requested a meeting with State Representative Dom Costa to ask if he would consider leading lawmakers to intervene. I think anything that we can do at the state level to reinforce and support our canine units and people who want a canine unit, we should do that. And I am so deeply appreciative to you to bring this to our attention. Representative Costa has arranged for a policy hearing to happen where canine officers can tell lawmakers about their funding struggles. That hearing will be held on Tuesday at 2 p.m. at the city's Canine Training Center on Washington Boulevard, and hopefully it will lead to a bigger discussion in Harrisburg.